So there is a uh, call to trial. Uh, you have been uh, nominated by a member of Bloodhouse Hazen to uh, to compete in a trial of blood right. Uh, after your uh, very impressive performance during the uh, during the uh, Operation Revival trials. Um, there is a hurry to, uh, to form a trial of blood right for, uh, the spot left vacant by the death of Kanye Van Hazen. So this is a very prestigious blood name. So this is a very important title. Uh, but since there were already, uh, a number of uh, members of Bloodhouse Hazen already on Stranomecti for the revival trials. Uh, the uh, clans have, or the uh, the uh, Jade Falcon Clan Council has decided to hold the trial of the right on Stranomecti. Uh, so first, we will be uh, doing the trial of Mech Warrior Vradix. And you have been uh, paired up with Star Commander Idris. So the form of the Trial of Blood Rite uh, is presided over by Loremaster Kale Pershaw, who is a, by clan standards, ancient man, uh, a, a large portion of his body has been replaced by cybernetics over the years. Um, and he is the lore master of Clan J Falcon. Uh, so he, he is the, um, essentially the master of all ceremonies and trials and rites, uh, that the clans, uh, have, uh, and particularly Clan Jade Falcon have. Uh, so he'll be presiding over this trial of blood right. Um, so your uh, your first opponent will be Star Commander Idris. Uh, he's a uh, fairly large, imposing man, um, a mech warrior, uh, and uh, you are. Uh, you are brought into a uh, ceremony room to uh, uh, to determine uh, the uh, the form of the trial. Are we in a chamber where like all the members of the clan are watching us? Uh, uh, no, this is this is, like this would be a um, you know there would be this some. Is a ceremony room. Is a ceremony room. There'll be like some blood named members of House Hazen sort of like uh, observing. I um, don't want to know when we're in a spot where I can address a large portion of the clan before all this starts. So. Yeah, there um, certainly bef like the trial will be recorded on all of it and, and, and broadcast. So, okay, because I'll make an address uh, when that time comes. Yeah. Okay. Um, so uh, at the beginning of the trial of blood right, uh, every like when they are when you are sponsored for a trial of blood right, you are given a coin. Um, on one side of the coin is the Jade Falcon crest, and on the other is your name. Uh, so these are only given to participants in Trials of Blood Right. You get to keep it as a souvenir, uh, if you uh, whether or not you succeed. Um, and uh, you have to cover your eyes if you fail for <laughs> Well, only if you lose an eye first. There's only I one coin. To before I go down. <laughs> <laughs> so the uh, uh, the ceremony begins uh, with. Uh, so, like, Kale Pershaw will, will tell you that the ceremony will, will begin with uh, each warrior uh, announcing their deeds 
and uh, and why they are worthy to compete in a trial of blood right. So Star Commander uh, Idris will uh, step forward and say, uh, I am Star Commander Idris of B Bloodhouse Hazen. I led my start of victory over the wolves on Dagda, capturing the Conclave of Black Brian and the Battle of Thorin Pass. In this battle, I defeated Star Captain Killeen Vickers in, in single combat. And then Kael Pershaw will turn to you. I am Warrior Radix of Bloodhouse uh, Hazen. I have served uh, uh, Epsilon. What was it? What's her? What's her unit? Epsilon Sigma or? Uh, well, Sibco Epsilon was like the the Sibco you were part of. You are currently a member of the Seventh Falcon Regulars. I fought in the Seventh Falcon Regulars uh, under the command of uh, Star Commander Nikita and Star Commander Kara. I uh, went to many engagements, uh, helping again fighting fighting against both. Uh, Gal clan uh, Galactic Scorpion uh, in the beginning, and then t taking on the Novacast, winning us the the uh, designs for the Huntress, uh, and winning uh, much. Uh, <coughs> sorry, uh, much in, in uh, undefeated uh, in all my career, and then I have also invested uh, several inside the arenas <laughs> in the name of Clan J Falcon, <laughs> and then. Uh, uh, and the following orders uh, preeminently and uh, leading the elementals who, who lead in, uh, to combat a uh, fork whip and then using strategy and cutting to defeat all my opponents. Very good. Uh, so he beckons you to approach uh, the center of the room. There is something that almost looks like uh, a large cauldron with a funnel in it. Um, have you ever seen, uh, like at the science center or the zoo, there's like a big funnel that you like drop a coin into and it kind of like spirals down into the middle of it? Oh, For... it's like a machine? Uh, sort of, but it, it's, it's more, it's, it's, uh, so there are two slots that, uh, are designed to accept these coins. So you both insert your coins into these slots and then Kill Pershaw will press a button that releases them both at the same time, so they swirl around uh, this uh, this funnel together. So it's exclusively just a vortex funnel, not nothing else. Yes. Yeah. Okay. No, there's 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 nothing there's nothing fancy about this at all. It's uh, simply a an elaborate way to do a coin toss. Uh, so the uh, result of this uh of this funnel and your coins circling one another uh ultimately one will land on top of the other uh and yours lands on top of idris's so that means you have the uh so uh kill pershaw will say mech warrior vradix you have the choice of mode of combat Star Commander Idris, you have choice of venue. I wish to know my opponent and then and all things and what, what, all their abilities. So I choose combat and uh, field with, with uh, weapons of choice. Weapons of choice, unaugmented. Unaugmented. Star Commander uh, Idris, you see, he sort of. He bristles a little bit at that. You think that he was counting more on his mech warrior skills than than his uh, his skills on foot, but bows his head and and, and accepts and says, uh, "A uh, I would like a close quarters uh, combat stage." Sela, Sela, uh, and the. Uh, so you are uh, brought to a uh, a what will be a familiar looking uh, structure. Uh, will be this one. 
And uh, Radix, as you are the hunter, you will uh, Idris will be able to uh, enter the uh, the structure, and you will need to hunt him down. Okay, so uh, before we start, I'll address Idris and all those watching. So, uh, uh, glory and honor to all Clan J. Falcon and all those assembled to win the honor of the uh, glorious uh, blood name of Hazen, of Yvonne Hazen, fallen too soon, and g former glorious leader of Clan J. Falcon. <laughs> Best wishes to all, but may Chirkina's claws take you as she will take us all upon our deaths. <laughs> Let combat be the judge. Say that. Trial initiated. J Falcon protocol. All systems nominal. All right, and we can roll initiative. Let's do it. Let's do it. Let's do it. Who's doing the fighting? Yeah. Oh. No way. So what's the skin color on the dress? Is he uh, black? <laughs> He is he is a bit darker skin, like olive skin. Okay. Tall, bl uh, dark skin guy. Okay, <laughs> he's a map pilot. I get it. This I'm facing the pilot of uh, was it uh, the first generation Jaeger pilot. Got it. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Uh, so uh, you can make me a perception check. All right, uh, you, uh, you enter the bunker. Oh my god, I rolled a nine again. <laughs> god damn it. All right, so, uh, just so this map is clear, um, all of the green lines are, uh, are walls that are two meters tall, so we'll provide complete cover. Um, like, you could climb them if you really want to. Um, the walls that are not green are one meter tall, so they would provide some cover. Um, and, uh, and then the blue is a, like, converted shipping container. I was about to say, is it like a tunnel or something? Yeah. Okay. Because even though uh, I wanted to watch, I didn't actually watch uh, when uh, Karam and Nikki actually dueled each other. And I, I know there's a video of it, but yeah. Yeah. I just want to clarify. Does that say I still have one fatigue overall? From uh, you should have one uh, wound value, I think, still remaining. So wound value. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, red is wound and blue is fatigue. Okay, just making sure. Okay, so I will... Well, first off, I want to draw my pistol in my right arm, my hand, and a, a knife in my left. Or yep. vice versa. This is a happy dexterous. <laughs> Does that take up my action, or...? Uh, no, you can you can start with weapons drawn. Okay, and I'll do a... I'll do a run, uh, and then I'll do, do a ready action for just a counterattack, I guess. Okay. Uh, Sorry, that didn't come out the way I thought. Okay, hold on. How did I undo? Uh, I don't think you can undo a move as a player, but I know which hex you started in if you wanted to. Uh... I would have to go around this thing, uh, thing don't I? What's that? I can't talk. I can't hop over this, uh, the sandbags, can I? Uh, no, you can hop over the sandbag. Like, they're, they're just a small, like, really, like, knee-high, uh, wall. Alright, um, can I get you, because there's going to be a bunch of obstacles in the way to get there, uh, can I get you to give me a dexterity check? 
Okay, go ahead and look up what my dexterity is. Uh, it's a seven. Yes, okay. So what kind of roll would that be? Uh, just 2d10 plus seven. Easily done, easily done. Yeah, doesn't slow you down even a little bit. So uh, as you get to there, um, okay. you will uh, spot Idris crouching over this wall, looking for you to come the other way. As I suspected. <laughs> Um, and you absolutely get the drop on him. Yep. Unfortunately, I don't have enough action. I can just get there. I can't really engage him. Well, you can, so you can engage him, which means he can, like, he can't just turn and shoot you. Okay, then I'll do that. Okay. Now, you can also, yeah. like... Can I do a perception you, check? Uh, now, you, like, said you, you, had, you said you had your pistol, pistol drum, right? Pistol and knife, because I'm happy to Yeah, so if you wanted to, before you close to melee range, make a ranged attack, that's a simple action. Wouldn't that make it so I can't engage in hand-to-hand, -hand, though? Uh, engaging is an incidental action, so you can do it for free, essentially. Oh, I didn't know that. Okay, yeah, yeah, yeah I'll take a pot shot. <laughs> yeah, so you can either shoot him with a pistol or throw the knife at him. Oh, I can throw the knife at him, too. Yeah. No, no, I'll shoot him since I want to keep one knife in my hand. Okay. So you've got him completely flat-footed. Oh, dear. Uh, and you hit him real hard. Uh, okay, so... Taking advantage of high roll in the beginning. No <laughs> kidding. <laughs> um, so that is going to result in a critical wound. Now, he is wearing an ablative flax suit. So that is going to reduce it to a serious wound. But that will also stun him. And uh, he needs to make a knockout check. Uh, which he just passes. Makes it more fun. Alright. Uh, initiative. And then because I'm stunned, I take a minus two. Not that it's going to matter. Vradix, you're up. Okay, so... Uh, blade? <laughs> yep. Oh, one damage. <laughs> well, that's on top of a pretty hefty uh, roll, though. So, uh... It's just a bad omen for me. <laughs> and your target number is 12. Uh, okay, so he get a margin of success of 1, and you get a margin of success of 7. So you get 6, plus your strength of 5 is 11, plus 1 for the knife is 12. Um, and then his bot is going to uh, subtract that down to just a... Uh, because of his fatigue, he's only going to roost by a couple, and it will be a grazing wound. Okay. Um, on his turn, he is going to clear stun, and is going to uh he is going to take aim with the pistol but not actually attack you with it so he doesn't need to disengage to shoot uh well so you can make a melee attack with a ranged weapon you just have you just have a penalty 
but that is also a complex action. So he's taking the aim action to get a benefit on that next turn. Uh, I see. Okay. Uh, and that's top of the turn. Oops. Okay, you get you you get to him before the gun goes off. But that also means, like, the gun's going to go off. It's just whether or not you get hit by it. Okay. Um, so, so uh, your what? What? What do you want to do? Mm, I'll take another stab. I'm just I like, I like to see blood. <laughs> yeah. Well, you you have drawn blood. Not this time, though. <laughs> Ooh, only an eight, huh? All right. I would really don't want to do that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, now I'm taking careful aim, but it's a pistol, so that's a net plus one, and his wound is another two. So I'm looking at target number fifteen. Uh, he will miss. So, uh, he just, in an attempt to, like, he takes aim, fires, uh, but you're up too close for, so, like, the shot goes off sort of over your shoulder, um, but you can't connect with, uh, with him either. Um, so, that is your turn. On his turn, he's going to take that shot again. Okay. Uh, this is a shot. I don't get a counterattack. Yes, you do because you're because you're up close to him. Like he's leveling a gun at you, and you can kind of like try to push the gun out of his like, like you can mess with his aim. Uh, okay, so you are you sort of get. Under under his pistol and get him with like the butt of the knife, but nothing that gets through nothing that gets through the armor. Um, not enough for a real injury, but enough for a fatigue. Okay. And he will also miss you. All right. Uh, yeah. We are at initiative. All right, Braddox, you just beat him. I'm getting closer and closer each time. <laughs> I'm gonna do something different. I'm gonna use brawl. Uh, just imagine me just like kind of getting up closer and just like putting my elbow against his neck. Yep. And that seemed to work. Wow. <laughs> yeah. Um. Yeah, he's gonna kind of abandon trying to hit you with the pistol and. Try to counter with an elbow across your uh, across your temple. Aim for his neck. Aim for my temple. Okay. Yeah. Uh, and he is going to miss you considerably, and you are going to hit him considerably. Uh, so you hit him by. Uh, So we're adding the 3 to the 18 is 21 against his uh, target number 14 is you hit him by 7 plus your strength of up to 12. It's going to be another uh, grazing move. And that's going to stun him. So his turn he's going to clear stun and then try to take aim with a pistol again. One for the blade. Right. Uh, well, no, that was his turn. So he wasn't he wasn't attacking you. You didn't have anything to counter. He's just getting okay. Yeah. Uh, so back to initiative. Because if you stun him, he can't actually take the shot. So. Uh, all right, you beat him. Blade. Oh, come on! I want to get. <laughs> Uh, alright, so he is going to take a pistol shot, uh, so he's got plus 5 is 17, minus 2 is 15, oh wow, 
So the gun tears a big hole in the wall behind you, but it does not connect with you. What is this, Winona from fucking Farscape? The damage keeps crazy. Um, anyway, so you will hit him again for another grazing wound. Why does Xerxes skill single down? <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, that's your turn, his turn. He's stunned again and will... Again, take careful aim. Does that stack? Huh? Well, I mean, that he hasn't got the shot up. He just keeps on aiming. Well, no, I'm. I mean, he the careful aim carries over to the next attack. That's what I mean, because he hasn't attacked yet, technically. Uh, well, no, he shot to try and counter your attack and missed. Uh, okay. Okay. So initiative now. Yes. yes. Aha! So, uh, he beats you this time, and will shoot. Uh, again, against target number 15. Wow. Misses um, you wildly. I was going to say, I've never seen it that negative before. Yeah, uh, so, uh, you can, uh, brawl. yep. Uh, and that will be enough to hit. And because he missed you by so much, uh, that is going to, in fact, be a minor wound. And he is really breathing hard now. You've, like, just given him a whole lot of bumps and bruises and knocked the wind out of him. He's, uh, he's feeling very fatigued now. Um, I should have asked if I put his custom commander on the line. <laughs> uh, no, that would be a separate, uh, a, a separate like trial position. Yeah, sorry. <laughs> I'm, I'm thinking of like an anime, like a food war. Just like, just like, it's just adds to the spot. <laughs> yeah, I mean, I guess there's nothing really that says you couldn't add those stakes, but we had to decide that beforehand. So. Definitely, yeah. So yeah, you've just kind of got him like he's doesn't have much of anywhere to go because you've got him, kind of got him cornered, and he's just wildly shooting the pistol. And unfortunately I for him, he chose the building. <laughs> no, honestly, <laughs> I would have figured maybe well, open forest ground or something. But... Well, uh. He is not somebody who's skilled with, like, a rifle, so he wants up close and personal in terms of pistols. Mm. Okay, so I'll do another brawl since I've already started with brawling. Yeah. Alright, yeah, he's gonna probably just abandon the, uh, uh, the pistol and just... Yeah, in fact, he's just gonna drop the pistol at this point and, and go to, uh, just, just throw a punch. And he fails to connect. I barely hit, I think, because my target number is like 14. Isn't yeah, it? that's going to be enough for a fatigue, but not uh, not another injury. Okay. Uh, that is top of the round. You win it. Back to blaze. Okay. Oh no. Uh, yeah, that so is. I did get a one, but it's stacked on top of a six. <laughs> yeah. Well, and also at this point, you've kind of his his armor is now in tatters, so the knife is gonna find a nice open spot in his stab vest. And, uh, gonna find something juicy. So, uh, <laughs> here. Yeah, you get him square in the chest where you'd already, like, damage the armor. Um, and 
with your strength, that's going to be 25, 28. Going to be another serious wound. Uh, so yeah, and that is going to uh, that is going to put him out. You <laughs> man. Oh, he is he is un, he is unconscious, like gasping for breath. Ross. Oh, so are we officially over? Yes. Okay, I apply for a Yep. Well, yeah, and and uh, med med techs will will rush in to. Oh yeah, I'm just uh, to yeah. Like, no, you do it. You do a good job of taking over, or, or, or like you, you do a good job of like okay, let's apply pressure to this wound. While med techs r rush in to uh, to take over. Glory to you, Idris. Turkina, this watch it. It will find glory for you soon. All right. Today I take the victory. Indeed, you do. So uh, that is going to be worth an edge point. Nice. Ooh, that's twenty experience. Nice. I'll take it. I don't, I don't even remember the last time I had an extra edge up in the bank. <laughs> I used them so many in the beginning of the campaign. <laughs> yeah. So, well done. And uh, so, after this, there will be an announcement over the loudspeaker. Kale Pershaw. Congratulations to Mech Warrior Vradix. You have defeated Star Commander Idris in single combat. And advanced to the next round. Yes. <laughs> Glory to all those who seek the name of Hazen. Nice. But there can be only one. <laughs> For now. Yes. There could be other Hazen losing. We're about to go to war. <laughs> yep. I'm optimistic. Blood's blood. blood. <laughs> I am in love. I to play for blood. Inside the blood of kings. <laughs> Don't worry, sister from the planet J. Falcon. I'm not going to do my usual ritual, like t stabbing myself to draw blood and then smear it on their face. <laughs> well, you, the you, 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 drew, you drew plenty of blood. No, no. Usually I draw my own blood I and know. smear it on their face. Yeah, I think you actually you escaped that without, without injury. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. I got lucky even when I chose the padding. So. Yeah. No, you got right on top of him. And unfortunately for him, he was looking the other way. Yeah, I was, I was surprised about that. I won't figure it would be back to the wall and looking yeah. both ways. Well, pistol's a pretty short-range weapon. He was hoping for you to come, you know, running around that corner right into his short range. And for him to hit you early and hard. Oh, I know. Because on that first round, I hit him early and hard. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. All right. Well, congratulations. Thank you. Hey, congrats. Congrats. How are you two doing? 